It is narrated that the Holy Prophet once said, As-Sakhiyu qareebun min Allah, qareebun min al-Nas, qareebun min al-Jannah. The generous person is close to Allah, close to people, and close to paradise. Indeed, one of the most outstanding qualities of Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam was his unique generosity and his widespread benevolence. His generous heart was like a splendid sun whose rays extended far and wide. Traditions mention that the Imam alayhi salam donated half of his wealth to the poor on three separate occasions. And twice in his life, he donated everything that he had. They say you can tell a lot about a person by the way that they treat the most vulnerable members of society. And no one showed more concern for the marginalized than Imam al-Hasan. It is reported that one day the Imam السلام, was passing through an orchard when he saw a black slave sharing bread with a dog. The man would take a bite and break a piece off to feed the dog. The Imam observed from a distance until the loaf of bread was consumed by the man and the dog. He then approached and asked the young slave what compelled him to show so much kindness to this animal. The young man explained, O grandson of the Prophet, when the dog looked into my eyes, I felt embarrassed to eat because the dog's eyes were fixed on the loaf of bread that I had. So I decided to split the bread that I had with this hungry dog. Impressed by the selflessness of the young man, the Imam السلام, asked, Who are you? I am the slave of Aban ibn Uthman, he replied. The Imam said, I ask you in the name of Allah to remain here until I return. The young man patiently waited in his place, and after a short while, the Imam returned. I have purchased you from your master, the Imam announced. The young slave stood up and said, I am at your service, O grandson of the Prophet. The Imam smiled and said, I am emancipating you. You're now free. And I've also purchased this orchard, and I'd like to gift it to you. The Imam السلام, showered this young man with generosity because he served a dog. It is for this reason and other acts of generosity that Imam al Hassan السلام, became known as Karim Ahl al Bayt, the generous one of the Ahl al Bayt. The Imam السلام, himself was generous and he loved those who were generous. He honored those who were charitable to people and even those who were charitable to animals. One practical lesson that we learn from Imam al Hassan السلام, is to be more giving. The Holy Quran teaches us that generosity is one of the most effective ways to nurture righteousness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran, He says, لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ بِهِ عَلِيمٌ Never will you attain righteousness until you give from that which you love. And whatever you give, indeed, Allah knows it. وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين